How's it going, y'all? This is Ryan De La Garza, and this is a Desmos demo. What we're going to be looking at here in this video is how to hide a screen or lock a screen if your students have not completed watching a video yet. So if we look at the example I have here, I have a video on this first screen. If I try and go to the next screen, I'm getting a warning message, and it blocks everything on this screen and covers it with this warning message. But if I've watched the video and I make it all the way to the end, I get this button says unlock the next screen. I can click that button and now I can see the question here on the next screen. So what we're going to walk through is how do we make this happen? Um, what are we doing in the computation layer to, to lock that out and to hide that screen? So uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a media component and I'm going to add my video in here. I'm going to need to label this. I'm going to call mine video 3 because I'm on the third screen. I like to name my components with the numbers based on the screens. I'm also going to add in my action button that I need. I'm going to call this Act 3. Uh, for the label on my button, I'm going to put Unlock the Next Screen. So we have that in there. So now my button, it, it, the label's there, right? But it's going to be there the whole time. So what I need to do is I need to hide that button. So I'm going to use the hidden scene. So I'm going to say hidden when video 3 time dot time so it knows it's a video so what I'm saying is I want that time for the video when it is less than and we're working in seconds so I know the video that I'm looking at is five five minutes three seconds long so I'm gonna say uh, five minutes is 300 seconds so when it's less than 300 seconds I want that button to be hidden so just so we can zoom in here what we're doing is I'm saying I'm keeping this button hidden when the time on my video is less than 300 seconds. So that's our computation layer and that's all that we're doing in this computation layer. Um, there we go. Alright, let's hop back out and let's keep rolling. So now I can see, let's test it. If I drag this over and boom, there's my button to unlock the next screen. So next thing we need to do, let's add the screen that we want. So here's my screen that I'm going to have locked. So I'm just going to throw, you know, a note component and a text, in, text input right now just as a placeholder. But where we're doing the magic here is in this uh, title computation layer over here on the left. So I'm going to open up this title and I'm going to put use the Cover text sync. Now notice this isn't a sync that automatically pops up, so this is one you just have to know. This is cover text. Um, so I'm going to put a message. This is going to be my uh, display message. So we're going to say finish watching the video, please. Okay. Uh, so if I preview this now, I have a cover text and I can press OK and I can view it, right? So this is the default. So what we need to do is make some adjustments here. First of all, I don't want that button to be there, so I'm going to use the cover button label. And I'm going to make that blank. So what this is going to do is it's going to get rid of that OK button that was there. So notice that OK button is there, but now there's nothing I can do to, to unlock this screen. So we need to add some more and we need to go back and talk to the last screen. So what I'm going to say is when Action, so act three dot press count equals zero. I want to display this message. Otherwise, I'm just going to do a double quote um, with uh, no text and I need a win in front of that as well. So there we have it. So let's zoom in here. So what I'm saying is I want that cover text to appear when the action button that we had on the previous screen has not been pressed. So when the press count is zero, that means nobody's pressed the button. I want to see this message. And remember that button won't appear until they've watched the video. So that they can't, they don't even have an option to make the press count one until they've made it to the end of the video. Now, if they have done that and they have pressed the button, we're going to make it blank. So it's important that this is, doesn't have a space in there because the double quotes means that essentially we don't want the cover text to exist. Right? So that's what's making this work. When the button has
has not been pressed, when the press count is zero, I want to display this message in my cover text. If it has been pressed, I want the cover text to be non-existent. The button label is really just kind of there uh, to make sure that there's not a, an override to our kind of conditions here. So that's how this whole setup is working for us. Okay, so let's pop it out and let's see how it works. So if I go next, I have my cover screen. You can't see what's going on, but if I watch my whole video and I unlock the next screen, here we go, and now I can see the question. So not a perfect solution. As you notice, students may end up figuring out that you can drag and make the button appear, but it is going to add an element in there. Uh, and you could put that button at different times if you wanted that to be, right? So maybe it's not at the very end, and uh, it could pop up and then re-disappear uh, so that, you know, students are having to watch to see when that button comes up so they can go on the next screen. So hopefully that helps. Um, if you have any questions or comments, you can leave them below. I'll post a link to this activity. Um, and before we go, just want to wrap up one more time to kind of go through what we did here in this video, right? So when students have not watched the video, I wanted to display a warning and hide the screen. So that's when we used our cover text sync, uh, and we had it happen when that time since press or that press count was zero. So we can use either one, right? If they've watched the video to a certain time, I want that button to appear, and we made that happen with our hidden conditions. And then otherwise, and once that happens, if they have watched that and the button appears, I want the screen to unlock. So that's where our otherwise make that cover text non-existent. So, hope this helps. Uh, enjoy your time working with this. Uh, again, I hope it helps, and uh, happy Desmos, y'all.